Hey what's up guys, that's Kazoo here and welcome to episode 23 of Skin Into Glory and uh, after a very very frustrating episode where we weren't able to promote to Division 2 and uh, where we got stuck in Division 3 we, uh, we're going to be starting off from the beginning basically again in Division 3 and hopefully this time around we are able to promote because um, if we don't then uh, I'm going to be uh, very very upset I I'm, I'm going to let you know that because I obviously want to like finish off this series as soon as possible and then uh, move on to Season 2 of Skill into Glory, if you guys obviously want to see that as well. But anyway, uh, we started the, the first game up. Uh, we came up against a really strong English side, but uh, we do get the goal with Muriel. I have to say a sweaty goal, but uh, I, I just took it because I obviously want to win this game as well. Uh, we move on forward into the second half, 86 minutes. A nice bit of skill from Perotti. Goes with a, uh, a weaker foot shot there, five-star weak foot. Smashed it and makes it 2-0. And that's also how the game ended. So uh, we got the first win in the in the division. We obviously are in again. And um, yeah, after that game, I decided to pick up a new player who actually ran out of his contract. Uh, that was the loan version of Martial, of course. We decided to pick up his regular version. Uh, he was really low on contracts and also low on fitness. And I think he had a chemistry style as well. So I decided to pick this one up instead. Uh, instead of like a different version. But uh, anyway, we switched teams. As you can see, we still had the injury going with Remy. And also, uh, Martial was low on fitness. So, um, yeah, I decided to play another game with the same side. We just played uh, played with, applied a few fitness cards to uh, Perez and also Quadrado. Now we move on in uh, what will be the second game in this division. And also the second game of the episode. And um, we got up against a decent looking team. 4-3-2-1 formation. Uh, more than decent, I have to say. A really strong Premier League side. But also that Hazard, Martial as his right winger and uh, Vardy. So, uh, some deadly strikers up front and we get things started off in the 40th minute the first chance here for us with Perotti just went wide I'm not too sure if Petr Cech got a touch onto it but uh, these were the halftime stats they were in our favor I have to say but my opponent was uh, really difficult to play against uh, it was difficult to break him down uh, 73rd minute here he gets himself his first chance and um, yeah we gave away a penalty <laughs> really really stupid this was a penalty though because I did press B you can see it from the animation for my player too and uh, yeah, I gave him basically a free chance to score. So he steps up for it with Yaya Toure, who scored over the weekend twice. But a really good save there from Perrin, who, uh, who saved us in this game. Then uh, we move on in the 89th minute. Douglas Costa on the left-hand side. Gaspar Scordado there with some skill moves. Turns around, plays it on through to Allen. Was waiting for a play to make a run. Douglas Costa makes that run. We pick it up here with Wendell. Then all of a sudden we pick it up with Quadrado, who goes for the weak foot shot. Puts it into the bottom corner and makes it close to this game because that's how the game ended. And you can see from the stats, a very boring second half as well. A little bit more entertaining though than the first half. But um, we end up winning the game 1-0, a very, very late goal. And those are obviously the games you have to win in order to promote to the next division. So I'm glad we, uh, we won that game as well. Then uh, we move on what will be the next game of the episode, the third one. And uh, we come up against, again, a Premier League side in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. A decent looking team as well. And we start things off in the fourth minute. A nice roulette there from Remy. A good save there from Butland, who, as you may know, is one of the best goalkeepers in, uh, in this year's game. Uh, 13 fent from a corner. We do clear the ball away there from the line with Semedo. A nice uh, nice way there to uh, keep us into the game. Into the second half we go. Some nice gumos here from Carrillo. Beats the defender there. Then we go for a shot with his weaker foot. But again, Butland there with a really, really nice save. Almost, almost counted as a goal already. 63rd minute. A shot here from Manarfa. Again, Butland saves it there. Then we pick it up here with Matuidi. Went with a cross. We get a header in here with Remy, which I thought he maybe could have gone for with a bicycle kick instead because... It felt more natural to do it, but um, yeah, really weak header, easy save for his goalkeeper. 70th minute, he goes through it with Batshuayi, then a really, really nice block there from Samedo. I think uh, Zaza could have easily made a 1-0 for my opponent. Uh, moving on, him on the ball again, sets a lot of pressure, uh, especially towards the end. Gets himself a shot in with Della Alley, and then from the rebound, it is Zaza to make it 1-0. So uh, yeah, annoying loss because you can see from the stats, it was a really, really even game. I guess uh, a draw would have been more deserved, but um, yeah, those are the games you uh, you sometimes win, sometimes lose, sometimes draw. And um, yeah, we lost this one, unfortunately. Then uh, after this, I decided to pick up a new player, a replacement for Matuidi, because he was also a player who we got on loan, and uh, he decided to uh, run out of his contract. So I uh, picked up a cheaper version. Dabo looks incredible this year. What incredible looked as well was uh, my opponent's team, in form Robin. Just, just a crazy team. Uh, Douglas Costa, Lewandowski. But we started off amazingly. What a free kick there from Ben Arfa. From, uh, I'm not too sure what the distance was, but it was definitely from far out. And my opponent probably did not expect me to shoot. 
went off the post and probably one of the nicest free kicks I've scored so far in uh, FIFA 17 so I was really happy with that goal line obviously to take the lead against a team like this but then 10th minute in form Robin showed up a shot across goal makes it 1-1 really nice goal from my opponent as well and um, yeah we were, we were back where we started basically it was all even again then uh, 20th minute Remy here on the ball a bit of LTRT dribbling goes for a weak foot shot a good save there from his goalkeeper Leno we move on 27th minute another chance here for us here with Martial who uh, I was thinking of cutting inside eventually I decided to do it cut in here as well with the ball roll then we went for the shot again a good save there from Leno who, uh, who definitely saved in the day because we could have easily been up at this point the 45th minute he has the ball over Douglas Costa and I thought he was going to maybe pass it across went with the shot and also the rebound shot went wide so uh, luckily enough we didn't concede in the 45th minute then we move it into the second half we start with some skill was here with Remy beating the defender then uh, we go with some step overs to kind of put my opponent off guard and then all of a sudden we uh, fell over his knee and we picked up a penalty so uh, it was the perfect way to basically uh, get the lead in the game again and uh, we stepped up for it with Ben Arfa but we actually put it wide <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it actually put a penalty wide not even on target I guess the, the arrow kind of messed it up for me but I'm kind of used to take penalties without the arrow so I was kind of surprised myself as well but then we move on forward 60th minute a beautiful goal there from Ben Arfa really nice fancy finish making it 2-1 and uh, giving us a lead this time uh, where he failed from a penalty then a 63rd minute, again Ben Arf on the ball with some skill moves this time. I think a little bit too much towards the end with the heel flick. Probably should have taken a shot immediately uh, to make it 3-1. Then uh, from a throw-in, uh, we do get a cross in here as well with Carrillo, where we pick it up again with Benarfa after a bit of luck. Uh, we pick it up here with Marshall as well, who turns around, shoots, nice finesse shot into the back of the net to make it 3-1. And basically make it game over towards the end because um, yeah we were dominating in the second half my opponent didn't really create that much but towards the end I uh, yeah I, I did too much skills I felt gave him another chance he ran through here with Sanchez and he also picked up a penalty and uh, you're not gonna believe it he steps off for it with Robin and this one also missed so uh, in this episode we had three penalties uh, to which we actually conceded and saved at the same time and uh, we missed the penalty ourselves as well so uh, it wasn't really working penalties wise this episode but overall I think really fun uh, episode to watch but anyway guys that's going to be the end hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated so thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys later bye bye